okay, folks? I'm gonna get you situated. It's been a while. <laughs> But it's clips. full of some quality content. Because you put clips in there. Because I make <laughs> the sound I, effects. <laughs> and I spend hours editing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he, and he spends hours maybe thinking about... Yeah, the cuts and stuff. Yeah. Do you know how to put flames? Ooh. Like you can go... Right here, like where you hold your hand in, because like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Tonight, we thought we'd chat about something. Sex. Sex, baby. No. Let's talk about you and me. We are talking about. Let's just title this. Oh, I had a little bit of a burp. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> <laughs> is the honeymoon phase over? P.S. Honeymoon expectations versus reality. Okay, folks, we're gonna talk about it, okay? Okay, like Cancun was amazing. We're also gonna talk about the reality of Cancun. The reality of the honeymoon. What is your expectation of your honeymoon? How many times I can do you have sex you, on your honeymoon? I can tell you what I thought. Oh, oh no. Sorry. My expectation of my honeymoon was like, we were going to be like so madly in love. And like, it was going to be like. Hot. Wow. <laughs> it was going to be like, whoa, fireworks, okay? Explain. <laughs> the night you always dreamed of every wow. single minute of the day wow. no okay i had like i had heard couples say that they had like they fought on their honeymoon or they were so tired so they just slept a bunch so so we met in the I, middle so i had some idea of like okay it's not gonna be i'm gonna say it sex all day long all night long but i was like it's going to be sex a lot and <laughs> that was my expectation yeah. and that we would like go on these adventures and we'd be swimming in the oceans and we would go like skinny dipping and we would be like drinking our margaritas by the pool oh, and mama, we would i would have super cute bathing suits and outfits and outfits. <laughs> that is what i pictured folks that was my expectation what was your expectation then we'll go into reality of it probably the same like lights camera yeah, lights, camera, action. Like, did you ever picture, I also always pictured like getting to my hotel room on the wedding night and like you walk in and there's like flower petals on the floor and like the bed has like, like a heart shaped on it and mm. like a little bubble bath going. Oh, bubble bath. <laughs> I just really pictured it all. My. <laughs> Tell us. My expectation for our honeymoon is that we would just obviously have sex a ton. Mm -hmm. Go hiking. I don't know. I What we did on our honeymoon was my expectation. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, kind of. It was Not, almost there. Yeah, almost. We'll get almost, into it. Almost. I can't believe we're talking about this. Do I feel ready for this? You better be. Okay. The reality of our honeymoon was... Should I, should Not I, what we said. Yeah, it wasn't 100% there, <laughs> to say the least. We did have a, we had a great wedding night. First night? Yeah. We had an eager beaver on our hands that hey, night. <laughs> I'm just gonna dog. say. Easy, dog. It was like. Yeah, because my ass had to wait six months. No, more than that. I'm saying engage of engagement. Oh, yeah, you Ask have... any married couple. Six months is a long time. It is a long time. Wedding night was good. Painful. Painful. 
it hurts so bad. <laughs> I, I'm not even gonna go into detail. I was a wreck. <laughs> the whole honeymoon. The whole honeymoon. We I probably was, had sex six times. The, and we were gone for, for 14, 14 days. days. But I literally remember, oh, we called, I called my mom. I called my best friend who had also just gotten married. And it got down to the point where I was like, they don't have anything to say that's helping me. That's what I meant. No. So I was like, it, it's coming. We need to call backups. Legit call. I'm like, can you please call your parents? <laughs> so Elisha calls Jay and Lauren. I just forever will be indebted to them. <laughs> and I'm like pretending I'm not there for a second, but I'm definitely I'm like, there. She's, <laughs> she's like, they're like, what? Well, how is Allie? And I'm like, hey guys, <laughs> I'm right here. Um, just to, you know, get some like wisdom on how do we yeah, do this? what's going on? You guys, this is what I remember. Lord, well, there's a lot of components. I, I did eventually go to the doctor, but. Who knows? But, Herpes hits hard. No, but I'm sorry. Kidding. I heard a sigh. I heard a noise, but somebody said, one of your parents said, like, it's not like the movies. And I was like, oh, now I understand. You can't just keep going without something breaking. I think that's what <laughs> your dad said. Like, you can't just keep, you can't just do this this much without ever doing it, yeah. without something breaking. breaking yeah. And obviously something broke in me, okay? <laughs> but I guess I could let you recap, but I was just going to say, we all, we're laughing about it now. But I remember... It was not funny in the moment. Yeah, I remember feeling like, is something wrong with me? Am I ever going to be able to enjoy this? Like, I've never had this experience before. So, like, and I went to the doctor before we got married. But, like, they were just like, oh, you'll be fine. Like, so I just was like, maybe there really is something wrong with me. Like, I don't know. They didn't do, like, any sort of exam on me. So... I had all these thoughts in the back of my head and like we're a week into marriage and I'm like, did he just marry an incapable person? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I had just a lot of thoughts and I was feeling like, oh my gosh, like Lyash has been dreaming about his honeymoon his whole life. I've been dreaming about my honeymoon. We've had expectations about this and it, I felt like, oh, I'm the reason that this isn't going well. Going well. I mean, like our time there was fine, but yeah, sex. What I felt like it was all on me. But I was just saying to Elijah the other night, I was like, because it's a different story now. And we've we've come a long way since the honeymoon. But I was saying to Elijah, like, just re like thinking back on that. And I was like, you were so patient with me. I never, ever felt like I would cry and I would be sad about it. And I'd be like, what do I do? Like literally calling the doctor to make an appointment for when I get back, like just devastated as, in a sense. And Lige was like, no, we just, we, we can't like, let's not push it. Like it was never, I never, ever, ever, ever felt like you even were upset or anything. He made it feel like it was no big deal. And he kept saying like, Oh, we have the rest of our life. Like he took all the pressure off of like, this is no big deal. Like we have the rest of our life. You're going to be fine. Like just kept being a voice of like hope and just would be like, there's no pressure. It's totally fine. First off, people are going to be watching the video being like, oh my God, they're talking about their life with about sex no. that's so much but it's like but, but we like want that this is something that we want to talk about and this is something that we didn't i mean you hear people talk like you hear like other people talk about it but you don't hear them talk about like the details of it we were in bed yeah being like this is this, in our honeymoon has and this ever happened to anyone i was i said to Elijah, i was like why didn't it why didn't anyone tell me this and then i just went down this rabbit hole of like I need to make sure everybody knows <laughs> about this. Like people don't need to like sit in this like, oh, uh, of like nobody told me this when it's supposed to be like the best thing ever. When it's like, it's actually okay that, that it's not. And it's yeah. a journey.
Anyway, sorry, keep going. Yeah, but what was I going to say? My process is just like, like it's not a problem. Like, I'm not there to score, you know? Yeah, you did. You like, did. I'm not in there to just, like, I'm not in this relationship to have paradise for three seconds and then, mm. you know, be done. So I was like, there's no need to, you know, have this pressure to have this, like, anxiety of, is it going to work? Is it, like, is it going to, is it going to hurt? Like, it's, there's, I didn't want to add that pressure, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it was like, hey, we don't have to have sex on our honeymoon. Like, we can wait till we go to the doctor, whatever, you know? Because I don't want to put that on you, and then you're feeling like, I can't give him this. It's his honeymoon. He's been, you know, going down the list. All the things I thought. Yeah. Yeah. But it. I would say that it was almost like, I feel like it almost set us up for success because it was actually, it was actually so bonding to feel so safe. And I told Lige, and this is a whole other journey. You realize like, I'm like, nobody's told me this. So like the whole journey of sex. I mean, it's a journey. It's not just like a one and you've reached it. Mm -hmm. At least from what I, I'm not the expert, but I eventually like it got to a point where I was realizing like there's so many dynamics to, to having sex. So many things could happen. So like even yeah. just connection between us, whatever. And I remember thinking this, this one night, like I never fear that if I say no, that you will, that you won't listen yeah. or that you will try to force something. And I that's think that's because of when we were dating. And I think that seriously goes back to when we were dating. It goes back to the foundation of like, when I said no, Elijah wouldn't do it. He might ask again <laughs> the next day, but he won't do it if I say no. And I think that that set us up in marriage. Like even now it's like if you ask to do something and I say no, it's I don't even feel like you're upset with me or anything. I feel like he understands because obviously we have a we have just a dynamic in our relationship that if I felt like I could do that or could give that to you, yeah. I would. Anyway. But so that was the reality of our honeymoon in that terms. Also it was just beautiful. Like we Elijah set up the whole honeymoon, so I didn't play any role she had in no clue where we setting were going, it up. What we were doing. So I, I mean, I knew we were going to Cancun. I knew the dates. Like I booked flights, but he booked all the like resort stuff, and we had the most ideal room ever. We were right on the beach. Yeah, we had guys, a lap pool. We had seriously a shout personal out to, lap pool. Yeah, hot tub. hot tub. It was right on the beach. Our view was the beach. Amazing, amazing. We had a three bedroom or two bedroom, two bedroom with a two bathroom room. with a living room and a kitchenette. Like it was amazing. Um, that was majestic elegance. That's where we stayed, right? Majestic I would still elegance there again. resort. It was so beautiful. Much. It was amazing. So that aspect was great. We also just learned so much about each other on that trip. I feel like, like even just my expectation of like, I want to get up and go and do things and Elijah on vacation wants to mega chill where I'm like, you can do that at home. Why don't you just stay at home to sleep, you know? So I realized like, oh, I'm going to need to like, if I plan it, he'll do it. And I remember the day that we finally got to go out because our plan was like the second week we'll go out and adventure. The second week there was a hurricane. And so there were like three days we couldn't even leave the hotel. So the day that we actually finally got to go out, we got back and Lige was like, thank you so much for today. And I realized like, <coughs> oh, like I have the power to like do, like to schedule something for us and plan a day for us. And I don't have to yeah. be like victim to like, Lige doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in bed. <laughs> anyway. You guys um, are amazing. Yeah. How's, do you feel like honeymoon days is over? friend asked us that the other night and I was like, you know, it still doesn't feel normal. Four months in. Uh, I was four even, months? Wait, yeah. We're almost four months. Wow. Crazy. Anyway, four months in, it still doesn't feel like normal. It feels fresh. Yeah. Anyway, that's a wrap.
We love you guys. We'll see you all next week.